When I was a young boy, I saw an incredible paragliding movie. It was the most incredible paragliding spot I had ever seen. And it was from the secluded island of Socotra in Yemen. I knew then that my dream would be to fly, and even better, to fly acro in this mesmerizing island. Hello, my name is Théo de Blic. I am a 29 years old pilot from France, and I am a four times world champion in acro paragliding. No, me and three good friends are ready to go to Socotra for an adventurous expedition. We are a bit nervous, since Yemen is currently in a civil war and also one of the poorest countries in the world, but I really hope we will have the paragliding trip of a lifetime. After finally arriving to Socotra and a bit of a chaotic baggage claim, we are so happy to see all of our paragliding equipment made it with us. Outside the airport, there are local live music to greet the foreigners arriving on the weekly plane. We meet our local guides for the first time, and they have two cars with drivers for us to drive around the island. But before any flying, our friendly guides insist that we first go and have a Socotra meal. Socotra is an island belonging to the country of Yemen. Its location is south of the mainland of Yemen and east of Somalia, and it has about 60,000 inhabitants. The size of the island is very close to the Spanish island Mallorca. The largest city is Haribo, with only 8,500 inhabitants, but it feels like it's at least 10 times more with all the activity and traffic in the streets. The nature is very unique, and it's one of the richest islands in the world in terms of biodiversity. At the moment, it's a civil war in the mainland of Yemen, but we are relieved to learn that Socotra has not been that much affected by it. After a great local meal, we head to the dunes, which I had only seen on film and have been dreaming of flying on for years. It's crazy, huh? The moment we get out of the car, we are like kids again. And the best part is, we have several brand new wings with us. Oh, 
we arrive next to the gym with the car, we open the glider straight away. Nick and I were like shaking in the car like, like kids and we're like, come on, come on, let's try and it's perfect. It's incredible, the scenery is amazing, the sand, it's like clean as crazy. Everyone is having a lot of fun with the glider. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most amazing days of my life. <laughs> Amazing, <laughs> pretty amazing. This glider is amazing and we were very lucky today. The conditions were perfect and <laughs> we enjoyed a lot. Now it's night, almost night, so we have to go. Otherwise we, we will stay here a bit more. <laughs> oh. I mean, look at the scenery. Everything, it's like I imagined it when I was 14 years old, I was watching the video and I was like, I have to come here. Now I'm here and man, it's a dream come true. Incredible. This is real. <laughs> We wake up to a beautiful morning, but sadly Nick sprained his ankle on a bad landing yesterday and need to take it easy. Just taking as much more rest as possible uh, because I want to fly again tomorrow, to the day after, let's see. I mean, I can walk, but I cannot climb the dune. The forecast says the wind will be weak today and for the next days as well. So my dream of flying acro in Socotra seems a bit compromised at the moment. So instead we decide to make it a Bantam day and go searching for new locations. The Nova Bantam is an incredible hike and fly wing. And also my favorite toy to use when I fly off from difficult and sometimes adventurous places. Alright, let's go.
Uh, play a bit like this, it's nice. I can uh, make some shots of the Ion logo. Today is mainly a photo shooting day for the new Ion 7 wing. <laughs> Do it better. Fabi has his camera ready to take some pictures at the tune. Uh -huh. And Nick Wait. is luckily back on his feet. Uh, no, can we try till Patrick arrives? One more. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. In my opinion, Fabi is one of the best aerial photographers in the world. And before we head up in the sky, we do some planning to get the greatest pictures possible. At the camp during night time we have to plan some touring days around the island because it's still too weak to fly acro. In the morning we are packing up all our camping gears and wings and we are heading up on the dusty roads for more adventures. And today I will be the driver with our guide Sobri on the roof. Thank you. 
<laughs> Today is one of our last day and it's all about safety maneuvers and freestyle with the new Ion 7. But first we have to get some extra weight out of our equipment. Nick still has a bit of pain in his foot, but Patrick, being a gentleman, is helping him out to get his wing up to the top of the dune. It's almost the end of our Socotra trip, so we are taking a short break before flying to just enjoy the scenery of this amazing island that we have grown to love. The wind suddenly picks up and I have to try to take my acro wing up in the air. Could this be the moment where I finally can fulfill my childhood dream? My heart rate is high because I don't want to end up throwing the rescue in such a remote place, so I have to fly my best. But it's now or never. After 40 waiting, I've finally been able to fly acro in Socotra. It's 40 year, 14 years in the making. I'm quite emotional right now. This is incredible. Uh, my heartbeat must be at like 200. It's incredible. Really scary too because yeah, it's an island where like mistakes won't be forgiven. I have to fly my best in order to make sure I fly clean because the rescue or anything else won't be tolerate, tolerated here so I have to really be careful but I've flown hardcore tricks now already and fuck this feels good and fuck this feels scary too man, incredible
is not boring. Parking, parking right there, I have sun everywhere. What the fuck? <laughs> 